God's word teaches us not to worry. In fact, Jesus said things like this. He said, don't worry about what a day brings. You don't know what a day is going to bring. Don't worry about tomorrow. You don't need to worry. Some of us, today is the tomorrow that we worried about yesterday. You'll figure that one out in a couple hours. But God's word teaches us not to worry. It's all throughout the scriptures. Don't worry. Don't be afraid. Instead, trust in me. Trust in the promises of God. You don't have anything to be worried about because we have a God that we can trust, who loves us, who sees the future, and he's going to make it with us all the way through. God will never leave us. God will never forsake us. I've learned that worries don't work. Worries make things worse. Study shows that worry is bad for our health. It's not good for you and I to worry. Worry, it, it messes with you. It messes with your appetite. Some of you, you worry, you're so stressed, you're so full of angst and fear that you don't eat. It might go, go a day or two or five or whatever. I can't eat, I'm so worried. Some of you are the complete opposite. You worry and you eat like crazy, baby. You just eat, eat, eat. But worry, it affects everything about you. It affects your sleep, it affects your attitude, it affects your job performance, it affects your parenting, it affects your relationships. See, worry is just not something that we do by ourselves internally. Worry, it changes the person that God has created you to be. Worry doesn't work. Worry doesn't work. It's not effective for us. What does work is when we take our worries and we lay them aside and we refocus our minds onto the Word of God. We all have things that come against us. It's easy to live uptight, wondering how it's going to work out. What if the medical report isn't good? What if my finances don't get better? What if my child doesn't get accepted in that school? We tried to figure it out. We've done our best, but we don't see anything changing. If we're not careful, We'll live worried, discouraged, not expecting it to get better. But there's a simple phrase you have to keep down in your spirit. God's got this. He's on the throne. He sees what's happening. He already has the solution. You don't have to figure it out. There may not be a logical answer. In the natural, you don't see a way. That's okay. We serve a supernatural God. He has ways to do it we've never thought of. And instead of trying to force it to happen, living uptight, you have to let go and let God. When you turn it over to Him and say, God, I know you've got this. I know you're in control. Not only will you feel the heaviness, the weight lift off of you, but God will make things happen that you couldn't make happen. And some of the things that are frustrating you now causing you to lose sleep. That would all change if you would have this new perspective that God's got this. Sometimes we're trying to play God. We're trying to make our boss promote us, make ourselves get well and make the contract go through. But as long as we're trying to force it, living frustrated, worried, then God steps back. But when you take your hands off and say, God, I know you've got this. I'm not going to worry about my finances. I'm not going to live up tight because of the medical report. I'm not going to be frustrated because I haven't met the right person. God, I trust your timing and I trust your ways. My life is in your hands. God never promised that we wouldn't have difficulties, but he did promise he would give us strength for every battle. He would take what was meant for harm and use to our advantage. You may have a good reason to worry about something. In your health, your finances, a dream, you've done everything you can, doesn't look like it's going to work out, stay in faith. God is saying, I've got this. I'm working behind the scenes. I'm in the process of turning it around. It's just a matter of time before you see things change in your favor. Now, live out of a place of peace a place of trust. It may not happen the way you thought, but God's ways are better than our ways. God knows what's best for you. He's got this. In the scripture, a young man named Daniel worked for King Darius 
The king loved Daniel. Daniel was so good at what he did, the king was going to put Daniel in charge of his whole empire. But when the other leaders heard this, they were jealous. They came up with a plan to get rid of Daniel. When you excel, when your gifts come out in great ways, don't be surprised if people get jealous. Everyone is not going to celebrate you. Some people will try to find fault and hold you back. The good news is people don't determine your destiny. God does. Keep being your best and let God fight your battles.